Sunday night in Risa at the International Darts Open as we decide a champion. A new fan for Danny Noppert himself, but would his hopes go down under? Would it be simply the West in Germany, or would it be Ice Ice Baby for Gerwin Price? Hashtag ET12 today on High Roller Radio. Yes, the Elite Eight, four tilts on the card. One of these guys will be over the moon, and we can expect some drama. Tasty matchups there. Who have you got? At Live Darts had the rundown. Your order of play, reminding us the semifinals are best of 13, the final best of 15. Came across this and got to share it. Was playing darts with a few people, tweeted at Darts Incidents. A few legs later, I was averaging this, realized what I was doing, and it completely messed up my mind, destroyed my game, average between 65 and 70 in the end, lesson learned. Hashtag darts thug life. Well, my friend, a 70 average won't cut it on the stage in Risa, not tonight. James Richardson, first one to walk on for this, the race to the championship. Two thumbs up for the fans on what has been a fantastic weekend for the Ruthless One. His opponent, the Bearded Wizard, Simon Whitlock, has got to be thinking that he's in with a shout for the title, and he's been playing well, too. Richardson leveled the match at one with an 83 checkout. The Aussie, though, in the zone would hold, and then pinpoint here a nice 180 against throw en route to 3-1. But JR got that back immediately on double top. Next leg, another double top for three apiece. After Whitlock held, Ruthless took out 78, gave the finger point and fist pump, then ninth leg, a calm reaction to a big moment. A timely break on double 10, throwing for the match now he was. Could he cross the line? No. With 65 left, the Wizard went single for 11 bullseye backbreaker too because he'd close it out in the decider 6-5 your final Richardson had match darts it's really hard to play a game and then come back five hours later Whitlock admitted the crowd chanting his name I have lots of German fans and that's great. Next up, Darren versus Danny. Webster v. Noppert. We pick it up in the fourth leg. The Dutchman clinical on the 118 checkout. Webster sitting on 20. The Cookie Monster enjoyed that one. Noppert fans enjoying this. He had back-to-back -back double 20s for 4-1 and 5-1. But Webster fought back to 5-3. Then in the ninth leg, despite this 180 from Noppert, Demolition Man capitalized on two subsequent bounce-outs and took out 60 for a break. 5-4 now. Then 10th leg. After surviving three match darts, Webster leveled things at 5 and can you say pumped up. But in the decider, the Dutchman held his nerve and held throw for for the match. Almost let it slip away. Fans himself off in utter relief. I enjoyed it, Noppert said. Everything is special for me. Nice sentiments here from Jess Harding, tweeting, well done, Darren Webster. Never liked seeing him lose, but came from behind in two matches today. Won 6-5 against Joe Cullen. Lost 6-5 against Danny Noppert. Five years ago, he was ranked 2,052nd in the world. Now he's closing in on the top 10 adding, made the most of his talent, which is all you can ever ask for. And we'll say here, here to that. Jackpot saluting the crowd ahead of his test with Steve West, who's had back pain all weekend. His arrows, though, not suffering. Nailed double top here with his first start for 2-0. A 12-darter and 13-darter to kick things off. He then held for 3-1 on double 10. Got away with one there. Lewis squandered several darts at the outer ring. The two-time world champ, though, kept it close. A beautiful 130 checkout here. Treble 20, treble 18, and this double eight raises his arm to acknowledge the effort. 4 3 now. West, though, was a tough nut to crack in this contest. Double six for 5 3. Then two legs later, he landed this for the match. A 100 checkout and two darts. He's happy. That's a big win against 80. I don't know where it's come from, he said, but I'll take it. It's my turn today. 
today. Ice Ice Baby next in her last quarterfinal. Gerwin Price playing Ryan Searle and falling behind 2-0 before kicking in. He broke for 2-1, then held here on double 10, and he was happy. Even happier after this shot. A stellar 156 checkout to break again. Hands raised, cruising and confident. 6-2 your final. The Iceman advances with a brilliant 103 average. Brilliant finishing too. Finally, I hit some doubles, he said. That 156 settled me down. I'm going to win this. We'll see. Semifinals. Best of 13 now. Simon Whitlock taking on Danny Noppert. Good start for the Aussie. Registering his 11th 180 of the tournament here. Make that 12 maximums. Then double 10 for 2-1. Three 180s in three legs for the Wizard. Then this. A 74 checkout for break in the fourth. Cruising. At 4-2 up, he held on double 18. And he wins it 7-2. Steve West with a very deliberate walk-on, nursing a sore back, battling Gerwin Price in our second semi, and quite the opener from Gezi. A 128 checkout on Bullseye, then the scream heard all the way to Wales. Right in West face two, one nothing game on. Next leg, calm and cool from West, a beautiful 64 checkout, and just the nod, composure. Fast forward now, fifth leg, a 171 from the ice man then he held the pose he followed that with a 94 checkout 18 double 18 double top wow all west could do was smile there in the background the entertainment value top notch at 4-2 down west fought back he broke with darts like these followed with darts like these a 76 checkout for four all back and forth good match it got better in the ninth leg price eyeing up the 146 and yes, he'd get it. Classy darts, a thunderous primal scream. West, though, leveled again on double 10. And fittingly, we go to a last leg shootout. West lining up the 106, got a dart at tops, but missed. And the price was right on double 10. A look to the heavens. Hugs, good sportsmanship by West. Awesome in defeat, playing with back pain again all weekend long. What a match announced at darts24.com. And you can see there the Iceman with two 180s and a 93 average. And of course, all that animation advances to the final with a thrilling 7-6 victory. Who will take the title? Wondered at Darts News Stats. Retweets for Simon, likes for Gerwin. Darts behind the Aki was ready. The final, it said, Australia v. Wales, and two of the biggest names in the sport go head-to-head. -head. Should be fun. Who are you backing? Well, we pick it up on the price throw, tied at two. Quite a sequence from Whitlock. This 180, followed by this 171 setup shot, and then a third dart, double 12, for first blood. Short-lived celebration, though. Very next leg, price broke back, double five. Then after holding, the Welshman struck again, 72 checkout this time. Two clean darts, the big, big reaction. He'd hold again for 6-3. Simon in trouble because in the 10th leg, Price went 180, 140, and took out 76 for a 12 darter, yelling at the board, come on. And yes, he'd seal the deal the very next leg. Whitlock, gracious in defeat. Great weekend for him. 10,000 pounds, a good run. Gerwin was the best player in the final, he admitted. I'm proud to be here. I've done well playing darts. The man of the hour, though, this guy, pockets 25,000 pounds acquires some much-needed ranking points and his first title on the European Tour. Simon got a good lead there, Price said. I had to pick it up. I'm thrilled to win this tournament. The crowd supported me all weekend, so thank you very much. And there he is, your jubilant champion of the International Darts Open. The Iceman cometh today on High Roller Radio.